So a while back I made this video about Hitbox being the best controller to use for fighting games. And I got a lot of questions about the kinds of sticks that I use and where they're from, how can I get one, that kind of stuff. I also get asked what kind of setup I have for editing, streaming, just kind of computer in general from time to time. So I figured I might as well just make a video about all of it. So here's what kind of computer I have, the peripherals I use, monitors, editing software, and of course, all of my fight sticks. My computer, the specs are on screen now. It's basically just a normal gaming PC. And in case anyone was wondering, I use the Adobe Suite to edit all of my videos. Monitors, I have four, cause I like having a lot of surface area to work with. They're all Asus. I tried to buy four matching ones and miserably failed. So I have two Asus bunch of numbers model. They're 24 inches, 144 Hertz. The left side is a generic Asus monitor. Right side is another generic Asus monitor that I thought was a matching one when I bought it, but it turned out to be different. So it looks a little wonky, but it, it's fine. So on my main monitor that I use to play games, edit videos, or just kind of watch TV on, I have this thing. Let's talk about it. Now, before I talk about what this is, I'm happy to announce this is actually the first sponsored piece on my channel. The folks at BenQ were kind enough to send me one of their screen bar halos to test out for a review. And better than that, they've allowed me to give my unfiltered opinion on it, which I greatly appreciate as someone who prefers to be as transparent as possible with those who watch me. Reminder, it's not a cult. Now, I was a little hesitant at first. I don't really seek out peripherals like this. I have astigmatism and I work in front of a computer almost all day, every day. So I run stuff in dark mode or with a blue light filter on. I thought I had everything figured out, but when they reached out, to me, I decided to give it a try because I mean, it's free, but also maybe there's something that they're offering here that I'm missing out on. Long story short, I'm really glad I took them up on the offer. Before I talk about my experience with the screen bar, let me briefly go over the features. It has an adjustable mount, adjustable light, and it sits on your monitor like so. It comes with this neat little remote controller, which has a rotary controller for the brightness or warmth. It also has an auto setting, which detects the ambient light in the room and then supplements it to the recommended light level of 500 lux automatically. It also has a favorite setting. If you're into that kind of thing, you like to switch back and forth between modes. It has three different lighting modes, front only, back only, or both on. I like to keep the color temperature all the way up. I feel like it kind of just reduces the glare and just overall overwhelming brightness of a lot of white things that might come up on my screen. It helps me see my desk better and it just really helps my eyes feel more comfortable. This makes editing and scripting a much easier process for me because I feel I have an easier time being able to concentrate on what I'm working on without my eyes feeling strained and needing to feel like I have to take a break every like five, 10 minutes or so. In my experience, this has been one of the best additions to my desktop setup that I never knew that I needed, honestly. It's, it's been great. So thank you again to BenQ for sending this my way. Now it's time for the main event. These two sticks are my daily drivers. You have the Victrix Pro FS and my All Fight Sticks 18 inch hit stick layout. The All Fight Sticks is the one I use most of the time when I'm just playing myself since there's some games I will play different characters with stick or hitbox depending on who I'm playing at the time. I put the Silent Nobi lever that I got at Evo in it, which I absolutely love the feel of. The buttons I have are 18 millimeter Sanma OBSFs for the hitbox portion and the front buttons with of course one 30 millimeter OBSF for the up button. The top I have on the stick is a really cool tortoise kind of pattern bullet top that I also bought at Evo. This top was actually supposed to be the only thing I bought at Evo, but uh, yeah, that didn't happen. Uh, and the stick runs off of a Brook Universal fighting board. The Victrix Pro FS, this stick is awesome. It's super portable. I love the removable lever on it. I replaced the stock Sanma lever with a Freak Mod shaft so I can use my normal bullet, bat, and ball tops on it. And I replaced the stock Sanma spring with a little bit heavier uh, two pound spring instead. Also, the bullet top I use on this is from Bueno Woodworking. Uh, I got it at their booth at Evo. I forget what kind of wood it is, but it's they made like a few smaller versions of their normal bullet top. And when I was at their booth, this was actually the last one they had. Uh, and I'm really glad I bought it because not only does it feel great texturally, the wood feels amazing, uh, but it also fits my hand perfectly. It's the best feeling top I've ever used. I've completely switched from, I've completely switched from ball and bat tops to bullet tops and specifically this one. I will almost always swap this onto whatever I'm playing on. Ball tops feel kind of awkward for me. They're a little too short and bat tops hurt my thumb after a while. So this top, perfect. I replaced the stock Samo buttons that come with it with a quieter Samo OBSC 30 millimeter button because 
I try and keep my noise levels a little bit manageable. I also have uh, this chibi Potemkin button in it uh, on the P button <laughs> for me, uh, fittingly. The finish is starting to come off a little bit where my hand kind of sits while I'm playing, but I mean, it's been over a year since I got it and I haven't exactly been taking the best care of it. So honestly, it's to be expected. This stick, definitely worth the money in my opinion. This is my Snackbox Micro. I went with the red switches with dampeners uh, in the underside of the button, as well as I got the uh, black concave button covers and the black body just it kind of keeps it simple, low key. Uh, this thing is very quiet, very portable. I use this most when I'm capturing footage or while editing, or if I just don't feel like having a big fight stick on my lap or on my desk. This is also my go-to tournament stick. Slides in and out of my backpack really easy. You know, it's super light to carry around. Doesn't, doesn't cause any problems at all. Whereas like having like the Victrix on my back all day will definitely give me a sore back the next day. Paradise Arcade Empress. I, God, I love this stick. It's gorgeous. I have silent reds in it. They're still pretty fucking loud. but these feel great. The, the caps are a little annoying to take on and off, so I'm not gonna give you a shot of the switch. I went with the white and gold colorway. I have a little Cowboy Bebop sticker I got covering up the uh, the PCB on there. I love this stick. I really need to replace the USB-C uh, port on it because it's kind of loose and doesn't really hold my cables in very tight so it can get disconnected during play, which is why I don't use it very much lately. But once I fix that, I'll definitely bring it back into my rotation. My main keyboard, I have five of them, but ever since I finished this build, this is what I've been daily driving at home. This is a KBD Fans Tofu 65 electric white polycarbonate plate. The Yazoo U4 Boba tactile switches for the main alphas and numbers. I have some Zeal Xylance that I had left over from my fiance's keyboard uh, that I put on the modifiers and the space bar because my stabilizers are super noisy and I'm too lazy to fix them. For the caps, I have GMK Taro clones and a custom Boba T keycap that I bought on Etsy. In case you couldn't tell, this whole board is themed after my favorite drink, which is Taro Boba Tea. My mouse is a Logitech G603 wireless. It's a perfect fit for my hand. It's super portable and it works fine for FPS, uh, League of Legends, StarCraft, any anything I really play. And it's, again, it's just a great mouse. If you're interested in any of the stuff from my setup, everything is listed in the description below. Uh, if you have questions about anything, ask away. I don't plan on making more like stick related or setup videos, but if there's other kinds of videos you'd like to see, comment your ideas down below and I'll read every single one of them. Be good to each other, and I'll see you next time.